Hey YouTube, what's up? So, I don't have too much of an update right now. Uh, you know, it's starting to be warm out, it's springtime here, and you know, you have all the outside chores, if you will, you gotta get done. Uh, you know, so everything looks nice and pretty. So I've been kind of busy doing that type of stuff, and I've only had, you know, like an hour here or an hour there to solder. Um, I've only got six packs all soldered up and I'm working on a seven right here. Fuses all soldered. I just need to flip it over and do the negative side. Uh, let's see what else. So I've been getting a lot of questions of how I'm going to connect each pack to each other for the series and whether I'm going to use an eyelet lug on here or, or what I'm going to use. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So let me move this out of the way. All right, so from my recycler, he's been giving me all these Anderson connectors, and they're from those server backup units, the APC backups. So I'm just gonna use these. These are the 50 amp Anderson plugs. Let's see, yeah, 50 amp, 600 volt. Uh, here, here's what I'm gonna do. On the end of the pack, this is the positive side. Looks like I already bent that. So I'll, of course, trim these back and I will crimp these onto here. So I'll have a flexible connection to the next pack since my packs are gonna be kind of close and laying on their side. I can just bend this around to the next pack. That way I'll have an easy removable connection. And then of course, same on the negative side, solder or solder and crimp. I know everybody says not to solder and crimp, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So anyway, yeah, this one will be on the negative side. So I almost am tempted to use this 10 gauge wire because the I'm gonna use the APC server uh, backup unit for my inverter and it already has this uh, 10 gauge wire in it. So I'm real tempted to use this, but if I change my mind, I did order some of some of the, um, the actual terminals for the end here. I did order some of these from AliExpress and I'm waiting for those. I don't know when those are going to show up, but I ordered those because my original plan was to upgrade this wire to be similar to my bus bar thickness. So of course I ordered some welding cable off of eBay and this was like 23 bucks or so for 25 feet of the red and black and it is the number six gauge wire and it's welding cable so there's plenty of strands inside and it's really flexible. So I got new terminals just for these so I can pop these out of here and then reinsert with the new with a new one. But I'm still torn on whether I should use the 10 gauge wire on here or not because, I mean, one, it's already done, and two, the, the, the backup units already have 10 gauge wire in there, I think. Let me go check. So at least on one of them over there I just looked at, it's got double wires inside. So what I'll probably end up doing, I could probably get away with using the 10 gauge in between each pack and then go down to the six gauge on the very end, which I probably won't do. I'll probably just make them all the six gauge because I got enough to do it. So anyway, yeah, I've got a whole box full of these that I can use. And there is some down here at the bottom with the bigger connections that I could use elsewhere. I mean, those are huge. I don't know. But I got quite a few of the big ones down here as well. So this is gonna be my plan to go from pack to pack and have it easily removable if necessary. Okay, sorry if the lighting is not too bright, but with these Anderson plugs, for each pack, I'll probably end up going like this you know, to wherever the negative side is, wherever it ends up. That way I can have an easy disconnect. And if I'm going from shelf to shelf, it'll easily reach those as well. So, you know, something kind of like that, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, I was so tempted to use this 10 gauge wire because I mean, it's already connected. It's already there. It's fine. It's just a little bit smaller than the diameter. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So yeah, anyway, I've got these six packs all soldered up and I still have, I'm working on a seventh over there right now. I have all the fuses on. I just need to do the negative side. Uh, and then I'll have seven more packs to do. 
Oh. And I did make some of these. Uh, the reason why is, well, let me back up. I could never figure out why people always had their name randomly placed, you know, in their video or, you know, painted across the table or on their saw. I finally realized it because people were downloading their video and uploading it to their own channel, probably to make money. And I, I've already had at least two videos downloaded and uploaded to somebody else's channel. Luckily, you guys um, were were on top of it and let me know ASAP. Uh, I know a few other people that I watch have had their videos stolen and uploaded to somebody else's channel. Because if you put a little watermark in the corner of the video, you could easily remove that by cutting it out or shortening the video, the lower half of the video. So anyway, I made uh, some of these and this one's double-sided so I can lay it anywhere. So I figure if I have one of these placed in the video somewhere, it would be easier to see. So yeah, I just made a couple laser etched one of these so I could have it randomly placed in the video. And I didn't stop there. I made this one. Oh yeah, made one of the small ones of those, one of those. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for copying those. If I do, I won't use them. Didn't stop, kept on going. Made a whole bunch of those so I can cut them out. Oh wait, I didn't stop there. Stickers, I made stickers too. So yeah, it might be a little gay, but shit, I don't care. All right, so that is my update. Um, I know I don't have a whole lot to update you on, so it's more of like a non-update update. I did mount one of those TVs that I got for free on the wall. It's the one that has two lines down the center. I put that on the wall just in case I want to watch or listen to things, or I might try to do some of the uh, the YouTube live stuff. I don't know, I haven't figured out exactly how to do it yet, but I don't know if anybody's even interested in watching. Do people watch live view? I mean, I do. So I might try to do some of the live stuff. Sorry if my lips, this half of my face is numb right now. I just got back from the dentist. Uh, yeah, I might try to do some of the live stuff. Of course, I'll probably do a couple test runs or whatever, so the first couple will probably be dumb because it'd be more of just trying to figure out exactly how it works. But everybody else is doing live views right now, so I figured I might as well try it out. What else do I got? So if I do, 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 if I end up doing the live, the live feed, which software are you guys using? Because, I mean, I know there's a bunch out there, but which one's pretty easy to use? I'll probably need some help on that. And I want to know who else is making a Powerwall. Because if I'm not subscribed to your channel, let me know. And I want to subscribe because I want to see what you guys are working on too. So, let me know. Oh, uh, let's see. What else do I have? Shout out to all the people up at 3 a.m. tinkering. We see you. Your lights are on. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Out. Um, um, focus you fuck. Um, something kind of like that. Um, um, and, um, 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 and, um, and, um, um, and, oh yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> do, 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 um, shout out to up, shout out to up, uh,